Okay, so day six, number one. The graph below shows the relationship between the number of dollars a worker earns and the number of hours worked. What does the slope of the graph represent? So on our x-axis, we have time worked. On our y-axis, we have the amount of money earned. All right? So, and these answer choices basically are just asking you for the words. Okay? So on your reference material, slope of a line, um, if you'll just look right here, it's going to help you remember that y goes on top of x. Okay, I know that's kind of confusing, but slope of line, cover up the confusing part, y goes over x. Okay, so our slope is going to be the labels for y over the labels for x. So y is the amount of money, and x is the time worked in hours. So this is going to be... Um, how much money per hour. So we just need to figure out which one of these says that. So um, A says the number of hours of work it takes to earn 320. Well, that's not it. The amount of money earned per hour, that sounds pretty good. The amount earned for 40 hours per week, that's not it. The number of hours worked per dollar earned, that is this, um, but upside down. So that's not it. So the amount of money earned per hour, okay? Your Y over your X. Okay, number